Hi there, today's quick tip is using macros. Macros are not unique to Steinberg applications. They allow users to quickly combine a series of key commands to achieve a very specific task. In front of me I've got a project with a number of tracks that I don't need. I want to come up with a combination of shortcuts that will mute, disable, lock and hide the track. First of all I'll look in the macro folder to see if there's a macro that already does this. There's not. So now I'm going to go up to the file menu and select key commands and you can see just how many key commands there are inside of Cubase. I need to make my own cocktail of key commands so I'll go down to the bottom to the show macro button. Now I need to select a new macro and name the macro. In this case I'm calling it disable and hide track. That's quite easy. But here's where it gets interesting because now we need to start adding commands. Creating macros requires a little bit of logical thinking. So I'm thinking in my track if I've got something already highlighted I need to deselect that. So first of all my first command is select none. I click on it and I say add command. My next one is to select all on the track because I want the whole track to be selected. So that's my next command. I hit add command. Now I want to mute all of the events in my track. So I search for mute events. There it is and I select add command. For peace of mind I'm going to lock the track. Now I work in a studio and there might be other producers or engineers working on this track when I'm not around. So by locking it they can see that this track is most definitely out of bounds. As another fail safe I'm going to disable the track so that means it can't be used. So I'll go into audio and look for the disable command. Once I've found that I simply click on it and add the command. Now this track is still sitting out of my project window. So the main reason for doing this is to remove it from view so it's not taking up valuable monitor space. This frees me up to focus on other things. I've gone to channel and track visibility and I'm going to select the agent, hide selected channels and tracks and then I'll add that as a command. The final command I should add is select none so nothing on the track is selected whilst it's out of view. Here comes the real challenge and that's finding a free key command to assign to my new macro. To do that I need to go back up to commands, find the macro folder and find the command that I've just set up. So there it is, disable and hide tracks. Because there's so many key commands there's a handy little feature over here on the right hand side. I can start typing in keys or key combinations and it will tell me what they're already assigned to. That way I'm not going to remove them from another important command. Once I find a free key or combination of keys I hit the assign button and that means that that key combination is now assigned to the macro that I've just created. The only thing left to do is to come out to my project window and try it. Let's start with the Neo Soul keys track and it's working. So I'm going to go up to the percussion track and keep going up through my muted channels and remove them from view. It is a little bit off-putting to see these tracks just disappear from the project window but I know where they're stored and I know I can easily create another macro that reverses everything that I've just done.